Hi there, this is James from Junior Developer Central and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly set up a server with DigitalOcean. So you'll need to head over to digitalocean.com to get set up with an account and you can just create an account from their homepage but if you use the link below in the description that I've provided you'll actually get some free credit to spin up some servers for free. So once you've got your account set up and, and you've gone and logged in you'll be taken to your dashboard. And if you just go and create a new project to start off with, this will contain all of the servers and other assets that you set up. And we'll just call this a test project for now. And once you've just filled in the relevant things, just click create project. And then you'll be ready to create some resources, some servers to put into your account. And if you just skip the uh, importing from other places and you can then click the button to create a new droplet and a droplet is just DigitalOcean's terminology for a server. So if we click there, so you're given a few options in terms of what operating system you want to run um, but they also provide some handy one-click installs at DigitalOcean. So for example if you quickly wanted to set up WordPress you can choose this one-click app and it'll install all of the dependencies that you need to run WordPress on your server. Uh, I'm going to choose LEMP simply because it's a lightweight way to serve some static files and so if I just click there and scrolling down you get quite a few options in terms of your specifications of the droplet um, but I'm just going to go for the most basic you get a decent one gigabyte of memory and a healthy 25 gigabytes of storage and that's just five dollars a month and again that'll be used from your free credit if you've signed up from that referral link and if you scroll down you get some other options in terms of backups and also where you would like to host the server I'm just going to choose London. It doesn't really matter too much, but it's obviously the closest one to me. But feel free to pick any particular region that's relevant for you. And there's some other additional advanced options, such as how the networking is handled and whether you want to add any SSH keys as well. And if you do have an SSH key, you can add it here by just clicking the button. And you can actually give your server a host name as well. So I'm just going to say Coburb Test Project, for example. And then I'm just going to scroll down and click the create button. And this may take a few minutes uh, depending on the speed of the service from DigitalOcean. But generally in, in a minute or so you should have a, a server, a droplet set up for you. So once your droplet's deployed, you'll see the IP address of where it's hosted. And you should also receive an email with your login details as well. So this is what the email will look like. And as you can see, it's just got the details of the droplet that we just set up. And the default username that is created is root. And you'll get a password, which is just a random set of letters and numbers. So what I'm going to do now is actually connect to the droplet to make sure it's set up OK. And I'm just going to head over to the command prompt to do that. So I'm going to say SSH root at and then put in the IP address. Just accept the fingerprint. That's OK. And I'm going to copy and paste the password into there because I don't want to type all of that in. And if I hit enter now, you can see we've made a connection successfully and the operating system is asking me to change the default password. So I'll just do that now. And once that's done, you've got full access to your droplet. So if you actually go to the IP address in your browser, you'll see that there's also a default index page set up for the LEMP server. So we can see that it's all configured and ready to accept our project files to actually start displaying a site on this droplet instance. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, don't forget the free credit that you get will enable you to play with DigitalOcean and set up a few droplets to see how things work. If you did find the tutorial useful, just give it a like and drop me a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more web development tutorials and tips.